real quick, a shout out if you're interested in one of those We Are Madden shirts representing our brother's true and spot. I believe if you check out Dubby's Twitter, he's got a link where you can go and get yourself one. I gotta get myself a couple of those. You gotta have a couple of those, man. And keep those guys They're heavy. Have. And keep them heavy in our hearts, man. And we'll never forget about them and we'll continue to play this game in their honor. We had the Mirror Atlanta versus Atlanta match. Now we get the Mirror Kansas City versus Kansas City match. If you're a fan of offense, this is the matchup you want to see. Atlanta with a very talented defense, but Kansas City with Tyreek Hill, with Chris Conley, with Sammy Watkins. This mirror match could end up being a high-scoring affair because defense is the weakness for these Chiefs squad. And it's interesting because when I've watched JS in the past, I always thought he was a good defensive player. So to see him out here with these Kansas City Chiefs, It'll be interesting how he fares on that side of the ball, seeing as, you know, they're, they're pretty deflated over there on defense. He's going to start off on offense here. These guys get their formation subs set. If you're first time watching a competitive Madden, a little bit of a gentleman's agreement. You see that delay of game get declined as both these guys make sure they got their players in the right position. First and ten, it's going to be a run play on first down. That was Williams with the carry. He'll pick up five. And it's going to be J.S. the best starting out on offense first in the red jerseys. Shakobi representing the white. My guy, Zen Rockstar in the chat, he's brought up an interesting point. He said, I don't understand why they allow them to run the same teams in these tournaments. And, you know, a big part of it is everyone wants to have an equal chance to win, but... Uh, how is you, Tyreek Hill over the top? I'm not even going to say anything anymore. You know what? If that's your defensive strategy, you decide, hey, we're going to go ahead and just let Tyreek have his way. We're going to let Julio have his way. Then you know more than I do. Hats off to you. Yeah, that's a big way to open up the tournament for JS the best. How is my guy going to be able to respond to Kobe? But what I was saying, just real quick in the chat, how would you guys feel... Give me a one for yes, a two for no. If we ever had a tournament where you could maybe only use each team once, our players could ban a team before each game. I, I'd be interested in that type of format. Is that something you're interested in? Give me a one for yes, a two for no. How about this, RG? Everybody's allowed to use whatever team they want in round robins. Higher seed gets team choice in single a limb. Th there's a ton of different ways you can do it, man. Now, you want to talk about point uh, differential, point differential matter. mattering. <laughs> that would be cool. Uh, the main reason that we've historically allowed the mirror matches is you, you just want to see everybody at their best. The goal is to always find who's the best Madden player in the world or the best Madden player at that time. And in order to do that, a lot of times we feel that player needs to be playing at their strongest. And you're obviously playing at your strongest hey, when you're hey. in control of exactly hey, what team hey, you hey, want to hey. use. So historically, that, that's why we've allowed it. Now we get to see if a lot of ones, though. It, it's interesting. A lot of people interested. Nice throw left side. Give him 25 on the play. And now we get to see what sort of response Jacoby has if that early touchdown from JS the best flusters him at all. So much of this game is call and response. And you see the best players know how to respond to the big plays. And the thing for Jacoby is got down the field. Do you, oh, he missed, missed the, the Oh, that's a bad break. And here's the thing with Shikobi, with your history and everybody putting that pressure on you for you not being able to win the big game, do you think if you fall behind early, you got to assume you're more likely to get into your own head, given your track record? Well, here, here's the other question. Which sack on sack now? Which play throws off Shikobi more? Is it giving up the early touchdown to Tyreek Hill, or is it Patty Mahomes missing the wide open receiver on first down. Oh, it's the touchdown off the ramp. Yeah, giving up easy go, points go, go, go. is always a not a good feeling. Go, go, go. Got to make people work, especially with how good red zone defense is. That's a big read right nice there for Kobe. Team. It's going to be a fourth and short. Big fourth down early in the final, final late game. Of Time the to day. clutch up. Fourth and one. 
He's going to stay in shotgun. He's going to stay in this trip's tight end. JS going to stay in his 3-3-5. Three, three, One yard to gain. Separates him from the first down. Can JS blow it up and get all the momentum early? Does he dare run the ball? Does he try to pass for it? Fourth and one in the first quarter. Jacoby down 7-0, trying to keep the drive alive. Conley in motion, he's going to throw for it. Only a three-man rush. He's got all the room if he wanted to run. He'll throw it underneath. And a great, great late read by Jacoby. And that's him utilizing all of his mechanics. Jacoby had nothing open. The pressure was coming. He playmakers that hitch route to go outside. Gives himself some life and picks up the first down. Way to keep you poised if you only want Jacoby. And that speaks volumes to Jacoby being more comfortable in this chair and not getting outside of himself. He takes it underneath. Let's go, D. Pick up a couple on first down, cut it to a second and seven. A big conversion early, trying to fill the final spot in the final four, and a guaranteed $2,500 on the line. Appreciate everybody hanging out with us here at DreamHack in the crowd. Appreciate everybody in the Twitch chat. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday. Watch a little competitive man. Jacoby goes to the tight slots, and I like this formation. Takes a sack. Usually when you see people in that formation, they want to run the ball. Jacoby trying to get glitchy with some wheel routes out the seam, set, went vertical, takes the sack. Now he finds himself third and 11. Are you thinking get a couple for a field goal here, or are you trying to get it all? Trying to get it all. I converted that. If, if I'm Jacoby, I converted from a third and 19 on the, uh, the, the last series. 21. And there's the corner. Big, big defensive play by JS now. 57 yards. That's a boot. He's going for it. That's a boot. I you mean, got. You can't. You can't miss this one short. And, and you got to know the kick meter is going to move faster offline than it does online. I don't think he got it. I think he got it. I think we saw this. He's got the animation. It's blocked. Jay has the best. He scoops it up and he's got some room. He's out running the kicker. A big special teams play. Jay has the best with an early two score lead. Is Mama call him the best? I'm going to call him the best. I told you that wasn't Jay S the average. Wasn't Jay S the good. He's showing that he can play on this stage with anybody. Now, my question is, at what point does Jacoby get in his own head and say, oh, man, here I am, folded again? Yeah, th that's, that's what I got to be asking myself. This is going to be a true test for Jacoby if he can come back and win this game given his track record. I mean, that would have to do wonders for his confidence because you, you got to, I think you're absolutely right, Rico. It, there's got to be a part of him that's saying, oh, my goodness, not again. But that's not how you got to be thinking if you're Shakobi. You got to stay locked in. Know that you're one of the best players in the world. Take it one drive at a time. You have plenty of time. But, man, he's got some adversity to fight through. Oh, that could have been a pick. That was an overthrow. Well, I said... These first couple drives could determine the game. They certainly could have. Shakobi can't put points on the board on this drive. Second down to 10. Mahomes in the shotgun. Trips tight end. Conley in motion. It's a play action pass. Pressure up the middle. They both obliterated the running back. Tip ball, and it's going to fall incomplete to the 25 yard line. Kobe needs to get it going here. I mean, he's still very much in this ball game. He has no momentum. Black 58 rail! Black 58 rail! He start moving these chains, get a drive going. Let's try to see one more time. Good, good way to get down. He's got a good offense. He's been explosive all tournament long. He can dink, he can dunk, he can get yards in a big chunk. Yes. Hey, Thank hey. you, Dr. Seuss. Hey, Z, Z! Hey, Z, Z! I, I was on the <laughs> It was I, was I love organic. it. It was completely organic. I, was I love organic. it. It was completely organic. It's freestyle Sundays here. First down at 10. I told Mahomes. I told Problem. I'm coming for Nandi next. And speaking of next, here comes JS, the best looking for his next. Oh! Next. Oh! 30! 20! 10! Where was Mahomes throwing that ball? He overthrew. He overthrew the dig route by a clear 10 yards. Jay the best. It's not an answer. That's just a name. Stop it. No, that's Jay what he throws into it. <laughs> Stop it. That was an icon. 
I have a question. So if Shakobi refers to him from now on, is he called J.S. the greatest? One liner Williams over here. 21 to nothing. It, it, if there's a lone silver lining in this game, that is still the first quarter. Poor, poor J- Jacoby. He is still left in this game. He has a chance for Shaklutchi to still take form. And I'll tell you what, if he can come back from this deficit. There he goes. Here he goes. Shaklutchi is He's back. still alive. He's still alive. Are you sure? He is still alive. Now, he does get the ball in the second half. He's in this game. So he technically still is, but just remember, he hasn't been anywhere close to stopping. No, but that's not it, though. He hasn't been anywhere close to stopping. J.S. the best has a special teams and a defensive and a turnover. defensive touchdown. J.S. has only scored Blocked once on offense. Blocked a kick, scoop Blocked and score, kick. and then a pick six. Okay, but the first offensive drive, he wasn't anywhere close. But that's a Sample just, size of one, yeah. Got a horse in the race? Yeah, if I no, but here's my thing. If I played the lotto and I'm one for one, I'm great. <laughs> I, listen, if I'm Shakobi, I'm feeling okay right now. You're down 14, but you really haven't had to do anything. Like, you're not getting burned defensively. You've been, it was a block kick and a pick six. And by the way, it was a block kick and a pick six on a massive overthrow. You, you gotta know when to just stop arguing with Rico. It's something you learn over the years. I think I should have stopped it, arguing with Rico it, 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 two days ago. It's an art. Sometimes you gotta know when to just take a step back. Nonetheless. Speaking it, of taking a step back, how are you gonna cover Tyreek Hill here? <laughs> Uh, I'm thinking single coverage with a linebacker. Sounds about right. The JB defense. First Second attempt. Start. Hopefully get some pressure. Looking underneath. Completed to Tyree Kill. Ooh, he's looking for that strip. That should take us to the end of the first quarter. It's been eventful here in the final quarter final. 21-7. to J.S. the best. Storms out to an early lead. Jacoby make a big defensive play. Down two scores. Shout out to 40 G's who just sent a message. Wanted to congratulate all the old school ballers who made a run. He was calling to check in to see how they did today. Told him he was a day late. Looking left side. Triple coverage. Oh, that could have been a big play going the other way. Lucky nobody was able to come up with an interception. Shout out to the legend 40 G's. I gotta think if they ever have the Madden Hall of Fame, Rico, he'd be a he'd be a first ballot candidate. Yes, sir. Second and ten, Blitz coming off the edge. Finds Hill quickly underneath. He'll pick up about five there. He's gonna set up a third and five. And Shakobi, he's gotta find a way to get some pressure. This is a really important down here. Yes, if you don't get huge. this first down, your chance, that puts a lot of pressure back on you. And Shakobi's right back in this game. Yeah, this is pivotal. You need to keep JS out of field goal range. Keep these two possessions. Try to get the ball back. Third down and five. Big, big play, boys. Splitting Hill out wide right. Here comes the goons. But nobody got there. It was picked up beautifully. He'll find the running back, Williams, underneath. Another first down for J.S. the best. He's down to the 37-yard line. That's such a big first down. Now if you're J.S., you feel comfortable just taking your time, milking this clock. You know, you can just move the ball. As long as you don't turn it over, you should be in good shape. I mean, you just feel so much more comfortable when you're already in field goal range with a chance to make it three possessions. It's night and day how much stress goes away once you're outside of field goal position in this situation compared to once you finally do get into field goal position. Especially with a two-score lead. Yeah, absolutely. An interesting pass play here, though. Mahomes. It's an interesting call. He's got him on the bounce. Got him! I mean, he's like standing with the cameraman, but he He completed that pass. (laughs) That was a got nice him. little play. I mean, got naked up that sideline for a little bit, but Mahomes is not able to get it there in time. Ends up throwing it out of bounds. 
Now a second down and 10 for JS the best with a two score lead, dropping back to pass. Right side, that is too easy of a read. You have to have somebody out there on the halfback. You can't give them a free nine yards out of the backfield. Yeah, that's a frustrating, that's a frustrating nine yards to give up. He doesn't even have to work for it. It's one of those snap throw reads. He's going out of the James about to go out of the goal line? That's yeah, th third and one. There's an opportunity on third and one. Oh, look at this goal line defense. All right, old school. I'm calling it. Is problem in the chat? I'm calling the play call. Old school. Toss. Oh, he stopped. He switched off the user. He had the edge and he gave it up, and that turns into a 25-yard gain around the outside. That was not fullback dive. <laughs> it was not old school at all. Not at all. And that, that's one of the scary things about coming out in goal line defense when you're not on the goal line, even if you're trying to stop that yard is if they call that toss, you have no defense behind you and can often result in a big play if they get by that outside defender and the edge gets sealed. And that's what we saw from JS right there. I remember when I used to compete, I used to have a rule where I wasn't coming out in goal line defense until he was in that red zone. If I, if, if I thought he was going to sneak way back in the field, I needed to have a different formation outside of goal line that I felt comfortable stopping the sneak in. Got to take a run here on first and goal. He's in. Shot the gap. Well, Jazz, the best one was that I'll just, I'll just go to the other gap. I got the other one. It's fine. Don't worry about it, guys. Extending it back to a three-score game. 28-7 to seven in the first half. We're starting to call for the floaties in the chat. Is that this, you want to talk about drives that can keep you in the game. Shakobi getting the ball to start the second half. 2.19 to go, two timeouts. A touchdown here keeps you alive. Yep. But if you give the ball back to JS the best before halftime. Let him get points maybe. Oh, man, it would be tragic. You're right, Nick. This is the type of possession. Do you want to keep yourself in this ball game or not? What type of O do you got? Big shout out in the chat. Rockets from Mudhead. Hanging out in the chat watching the final day of DreamHack. Huge shout out Triangle. to Rockets. Everything him and Mudhead oh, do over there. The Everything for the community. They're, they're awesome for the game of Madden, for all the players. A lot of love for you guys. Thank you for everything that you do. Shout out to Jamie from the NBL in the chat. Rico's motioning to me to tell Rockets, hit him up. Hit him up. He wants to get in on this. First and 10. Play action pass. Look at underneath. Kelsey. Pick up nine. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Kobe's moving this ball. Black 58 rail. Trying to keep himself in this ball game. How about a run play on second and one? And how about a gash? Pick up 11. That's a nice stat line. Two carries, 86 yards, and a touchdown. Book saying, yo, Rico, put in the order. I need some real food. Thanks. Papa Do's tonight. Papa Do's tonight. It's going to be a good night. My guy Bugs has been splucing with us, too. Yeah, he was there yesterday. I was shocked that he is in besides sides and with the leaves outside. Oh, well, it's raining. You can't. Bugs are low key. Oh, oh, nice spin. move. Nice spin. Breaking a tackle. Stumbling and bumbling to the two yard line. Oh, I was about to say you that. He would have preferred it, the, the wet leaves as opposed to. Oh, well, grass outside? Probably extra calories and rain for him. So, but here's the thing if you're Shakobi. You want to run some clock here, too. If you can get in the end zone right before the half, you're only down 14, you get the ball back, and if you can score, you now put the pressure back on JS, which he's never had all game long. Yeah, it's going to be hard to run that clock, though. JS has two of these timeouts. You're going to see he's going to use another one, try to give himself some time to put an offensive drive together of his own before this half. If you're Shakobi, is there any thought of doing something like a quarterback sneak here, force him to use that last timeout. No, nah, I, I think it's too important. Just get to the end zone. It's too important to score. You're down 21 points. You, you can't worry. You can't, you know. 
You can't get that deep right now about control. The, the number one priority has to be to just get a touchdown. He's looking to throw here on second and goal. Back of the end zone, high pass. I don't particularly love the call. You can't think about three here, can you? No. Yeah, I believe this is two down territory. Four down territory, excuse me. Uh, Nick just pointed out in the chat to me that mine said... Ooh, ooh, got him! Travis Kelsey with a touchdown! And right now he is back in this. Barring... He's got to stand up. 51 seconds left. That's what I was going to say. He needs to hold the door here. You can't allow JS to get any points. But if JS gets a little sassy... Yeah. You can get a stop. Something I, wild happens. You seen, never know. We've seen and, that happen. That's how you lose. Anyway... What's mine? One it says, tell Rico my girl hooked my hair up to look like his. We need a picture. Tell him, tell him to t tweet at me a picture. I need to, I'm curious. I didn't know what that looks like. 51 oh seconds, one timeout. If you're, if you're a JS, you feel really good about that incompletion that's like now because it saved you a timeout. Jacoby getting the ball to start ice, ice. the second half. Boy, how big would a turnover be here for Chicago? I'm telling you, this is how you lose Madden football games. You get greedy in this situation. You turn the ball over. But Chicago get additional points before the half. You have to be careful here if you're JS the best. If I'm him, I'm almost, almost happy to get out of this half uh, up two scores. Now a second and ten. Gun bunch for JS the best. And now he's committed after throwing that ball away on first down. Not forcing the timeout. Jacoby would be able to get the ball back with his timeout with about 30 seconds if JS wasn't able to well, do anything. Down the field. But there he is. He's able to convert. That's a big play from JS the best. That was huge. And once again, we're seeing not an ounce of pressure from this Kansas City defensive line. And now JS the best. He's only about 10 yards. To get into field goal range. Ace, ace. Uh -huh. Call 12. First and 10. Left side. Oh. Tyreek Hill. Wow. JS the best. This is putting on a clinic right now. Third time he's hit that fade route to Tyreek Hill down the field. The best. R Rico was ahead of his time. He said the off he called out the uh -huh. offensive efficiency uh -huh. before it was super efficient. I try. Clock running. He's going to try to throw for the end zone. Pressure. Nice play by Houston. And if you're Shakobi, it's like he's going to try to quick kick this. Kick is up. It is good. We're going to halftime. 31 14. Jay has the best on top. Shakobi getting the ball to start the second half. $2,500 on the line. That was, that was prolific by JS the best. I know I was saying, you know, you lose games by getting aggressive in that situation and turning it over. But when you can go down in that situation, get yourself an additional three, make it three possessions going into the second half. I mean, that's a remedy to win Madden football games. And his execution has been through the roof so far in this, this Elite Eight game. First and ten. Oh, he's got all the time in the world. Looking down the field, bad throw, he lurked him! Oh, it's getting out, the floaties are out. Get the floaties. Now, put your, put there, your Stevies in the chat. There are some times when you just run into a bad matchup. There are some times when you just run into a better player. It doesn't mean you fold it. What's the narrative gonna be at this game? Uh, poor Shakobi's Sh um, probably gonna get uh, Crucified. <laughs> He's going to get crucified. And I hope he doesn't because I don't. He's this stood, wasn't just a stood. fold. This wasn't a fold. JS the best is the better player on the field right now. Right now. Right now he's the better player. And this is what I was talking about. when if, People if they, were asking me yesterday what my picks were going into day three. It's so tough picking them when you have a full night's sleep in between gameplay. It's easier to pick it when you've seen some gameplay and we, we watched them play four games yesterday, but yeah. who knows what can happen in that 12 hours, 24 hours between tournament rounds. Absolutely. Because if it was yesterday, 
This Jacoby offense looks totally different than what we saw in the round of 16 yesterday. I agree, but again, this is... He didn't go up against Sands the best. You hate to say it, I hate to buy into the narrative, but this is what we've seen from Jacoby. I mean, he, he, he just constantly looks super tough. A guy that could win, you know, any tournament that he's a part of. But then he gets there in these meaningful games, and he the real meaningful games, and he's, he's just more often than not not able to pull it out. By the way, they are wet over there in this Rocket League Rocket tournament League here in DreamHack. They are going bananas. A lot of action here at DreamHack, not, not just here on the virtual gridiron, but all types of virtual battles going on throughout this facility. Third and eight. JS using as much clock as he can, driving back to pass on third down. He's going to look somewhere. Dirt ball. Going to settle for a field goal. Kiv in the chat. Who y'all like, Warriors or Raptors? Warriors. Rico saying Warriors. I kind of want to uh -oh. go with the Raptors. Did he, did he jump off? He could just decline it anyway, though. Yeah, he wants a field goal. give him a first down. I think I'm going to go with the Raptors in the King of the North. Uh, I, I'm feeling kind of nostalgic. Last season, the Game of Thrones, it, it kind of it kind of feels right for the North, the North to come out on top. I got the Raptors tonight. No, this is the series, Nick. In the series, I think so much depends on it. It's the, the series game. we're talking about, right? Ace, Ace. I think yes, the, absolutely. We're talking about the series to win yeah, the whole the, thing. The Raptors. I, I'm going to go with the Raptors. And I don't feel good picking against the Warriors. I just here's, here's feelings. my concern with the Raptors. They won game one. Pascal Siakam drops 30-plus. Um, I mean, again, I get that Kyle Lowry went like one for seven from the floor. But so I didn't know why did him play great? I mean, cool. And on the flip side, you look at the Warriors. Steph Curry had 30-plus. Clay chipped in 20, but... Iguodala shot the ball horrendously. Didn't really have any help from Draymond. I think Draymond went 10, 10, and 10. I, and the Raptors only still only won by 11. When you had three secondary scores not doing it, I don't know. I'm I, 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 I usually would go with the Warriors, but it just feels like the North's time. The North has a lot of momentum these last couple of months. Am I the only one that thinks that Bogey Cousins is a detriment to the Warriors? Yes. I, and here's what I'll tell you. The Drake curse that is before. real. We've had this argument at the office before. Eventually, Toronto's going to lose. The Drake curse is a real thing. <laughs> it's a real How about that? Like, thinking it's, of the Drake yes, curse. Yes, exactly. The, the Joshua. The Joshua fight last night. Oh, my goodness. Can Ooh. anybody confirm in the chat? Is that John Ruiz's son? The old school boxer, John Ruiz? Because he, he was from my home. He, he was trained in my hometown. Yeah, I've I seen the Drake picture with Anthony Joshua. But you know what? It's this Ruiz, John Ruiz. So you remember John Ruiz? He Absolutely. Fought Roy Jones Jr., a good, good champion for a while. I, I, they, they look similar. Ace Toby in the chat says, uh, great team in the North. Everyone on the team can give you 20, Warriors and four. <laughs> I, I will bet you the Warriors don't win this series in four. Because they've already lost one. I'm going to put the money on that one. I take the sure things. First and 10. Patch is telling me, yeah, that is John Ruiz's son. That's vintage. I wish I would have known. If I knew John Ruiz's son was getting out there, getting ready to throw hands, I would have put a couple dollars on it. It was like plus 1,100. I don't get thrown gambling. I'm, I'm just, in theory. I wish you would have told me. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just serious. Oh, man. 20-point ball game here at the end of the third. Kobe's marching, trying to do what he can. It's just, it's been all JS this game so far. Jacoby needing to put seven on the board quickly, and then he's going to need some help. Nobody he's down. not in too bad of a position. If he can get seven before the fourth quarter starts, he's only down 13. Get a stop and a score. One more stop, and it's a guap drive for the, for the victory. And that would be the greatest comeback ever. Oh, now imagine, imagine Jacoby coming back to win this game. On the right side, one-on-one -on -one play. Okay, like chat that. and fellas, which is worse? If Jacoby continues right now to get beat like the way he is now, 
Or if he scores here, gets a stop, scores, gets another stop, goes down for the guap drive, and then doesn't score at the end. Don't say that. That's just mean. I would love to. I would love to see him, you know, fight back. And you know, I'm not. Bi- you don't want to be biased at all. But one thing we love is good games. So if he could do something to make this a good game. Really bring that excitement. It'd be phenomenal. As they continue to go they nuts. Going, they are going, they are going nuts. nuts over there. They were doing a five, They're, four, I three. believe that. Look at them. You mean that wasn't first to Kobe's uh, no. play clock? No. <laughs> first to go back of the end zone. It's so awesome. Awesome to see at DreamHack. All, so many passionate gamers. So many different people from different walks of life coming together to share this passion of gaming. And it's just a really good atmosphere. And you know, DreamHack, I, I asked them, they said they've paid about over roughly $18 million worth of prize money over the year. I mean, that's a lot of bread to be handing out over East. Ooh, ooh, little halfback wham up the middle. All right, and ladies and gentlemen, we don't have a ball game yet. But if he can give we another could. stop. We have the we possibility could. that a ball game could be found somewhere. To be fair, it is a ball game, and one defense to stop away. And from really turn, especially with all three of those timeouts, we're not even in the fourth quarter, but he needs to get the stop. And a score. Honestly, he can even hold them to a field goal, and it's still only be a, a two-score game, 16 points. The problem is you assume if JS was to get a field goal in the process of doing that, this he'd be clock. able to take some of this clock with him. He needs a, a fumble, up. scoop, and score. He's got, now, he's got a, uh, Jayus has thrown one or two questionable throws in this game into tight coverage. I'd, be, I'd question Jayus if he threw one or two more throws. <laughs> I'd like to see him just run this ball. He does run it. Big stop in the middle. I'm telling you, Shakopee gets a stop here. Jayus might start feeling that pressure. I've been, you've been in these situations now, second before. Second and ten. That's where you need to be when you're trying to stop the run. That's second and five. Second I'm going to start calling you second down, Rico. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody analyzes second down more than my dog. It was on third Rico. down, fourth down. Rico's like, he second down, where it is. He don't care about third. We get the second down. Rico is squinting, looking at the screen, dead serious. Last, second down, Rico. Which should be the last play of the third quarter. 13-point game. He'll come in motion from left to right. Wow, he snapped that early. He's running back. He's looking right side. That's tight coverage over there. And the clock stops, so he's going to have to run one more play. Now, I That's thought J.S. the best was in charge of this. I did not know Andy Reid was running this offense. <laughs> what is going on here? Run Big man. the ball. <laughs> when he's on fire, he's on fire. Huh? Third and ten, hill in motion. Driving back to pass on third down. Pressure. Oh, no! Get there. Oh, he got a stop. No, if JS is definitely going for this. Before the end of the third quarter. Look at him think about it. As well. He's he knows. It. He can feel it. He's thinking. JS is going He's for going it. For I it. told you. Oh, Ooh, buddy. He looks locked in. I'm look up. at, look I'm at up, guys. Guys, I'm, I'm out of my chair. I'm ready. Look at Shakobi on the left of your screen. He looks focused. Ooh. This is a get Ooh. yourself back in the gameplay. What does Shakobi have? This is going to hurt Shakobi. Fourth and ten. Does he get it or not? Kelsey, remember you heard it first here. Hill in motion. Dropping back. Pressure up the middle. And as he threw, Shakobi's alive. 11 seconds left. Shakobi gets the ball back in plus territory. Don't call the comeback. It's still a ball game here at DreamHack. Oh, my goodness. JS couldn't even get out of this third quarter. And not only that, Shakobi has the ball on JS's 25-yard line in striking distance. Got him, man. He's got, got him blocked downfield. Oh, we got action here, boys. That's really Four's hard. up. It's fourth quarter time. They called him JS the fold. <laughs> JS the fold. Hey, man, it's tough when you're up there in that hot seat going up against a highly skilled competitor. Battling for their tournament life. Kelsey, you heard it here first. Kelsey literally blocked. Block. Yeah, I noticed that. Kelsey did block. I was, I, I could. That was great. Oh, that's that was funny. Great. Stick the second down. Driving back. Oh, he's Wheel, got him. He's got him. He gets out of bounds the four-yard line. 
Second down, Rico. Second and two. Give us the analysis. Break it down for me. down, Rico. Everything is open in your playbook right now, but you definitely need to run that ball. I'm not in shotgun right here. You don't want to turn second and two into third and six. That's top-notch analysis from second down, Williams. Second and two. He's throwing for it. Stepping up. He's He's taking off. off. Life on the line. First down of the one-yard line. Dangerous taking a hit with him. I think he planned on running that the whole time. So I will t- I'll give him a decent call there. All right, we're back out of our seats. I'm a huge fan of the quarterback draw. <laughs> Big first down right here and Jacoby. What does Jacoby have? Goal line formation. Fullback dive into the end zone. One score. Game in the fourth quarter. If you tuned out, you better tune back in because we got a ball game. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Obi-Wan Shakobi has fought all the way back. We counted him down. We thought he was out. We started talking Warriors Raptors. We started talking the Joshua fight. The ref was at the eight. He was at the nine count. And he goes, I'm good, man. Let's keep fighting. Oh, man, this is a battle. We got ourselves ball game. This is action here at DreamHack. Last game in the Elite Eight. Who's going to make it to the semifinals? Guaranteed himself 2,500. JS, how does he respond right here? With Tyreek up top. (laughs) You would lose it. (laughs) You would lose it if Tyreek... First and ten. Pressure picked up. He's now getting there. He just gets it off. off. Finds Hill underneath. Oh, strip. Oh. You're starting to see Shakobi get some pressure. He's sending a lot of rushes. That looks like a six-man rush. Trying, trying to force him into a bad throw. Real quick, guys. Is this more Shakobi winning or JS losing this game? I'll tell you in four minutes and seven uh, seconds. I think it's a little of both. Shakobi has continued to fight, not, you know, gotten out of this game. A lot of people would have been discouraged. They would have been mentally done. Jacoby stayed in it and then took advantage of the mistakes that JS has made. Especially at the end of that third quarter. Now JS starting to use some clock. Under 345 to go in the game. Is the pressure. Come around the edge. He gets as he threw. Clock stops. And it's only a six-point game. You got to think if you're JS the best. And Jacoby gets this ball back. It's only a touchdown. He needs to not tie the game, but to take the lead. Second and ten. You know, I'm going to wait till this play's done. You're not going to break that second down? Second and ten, Rico. This is your play. This is your moment. This is your moment. Driving back on second down. Straight to the wheel. That's Kelsey. Ball's out. Ball's out. Oh, Kelsey just dives back on it. And we got a third and three. You know how we talk about people who run the ball and what happens if they get down yeah. and having to come back? Yeah. We need to talk more about people who always pass the ball and what happens when they need to close a game out and they can't run the ball effectively and manage the clock because there's no way he should have been able to get back into this game if he if J.S. the best would have had clock management and better play calling. Yeah, I think him not being able to get out of that third quarter, it started off with that first down play, threw it away. Now this third needs and to three. be a run. Under three minutes to go. Play clock running down. He's going to throw for it. Mahomes dropping all the way back. He's looking up the field. He has a man. Huge. It's caught. That huge play huge. down the field. Oh, gets him in field goal range where he can make it two possessions. That was super clutch if you're JS the best. Now, when you now you should make Jacoby think. You got to make him start to use those timeouts. Yes. You're in field goal range already. Nine makes this a moot point as long as you make him use all these timeouts mm-hmm. and the two minute warning. He if he breaks, three if he throws another nine. pass. If he throws another pass, you going three straight runs here? I'm, yeah, I'm going. Yes, absolutely. You just go to five straight runs. Timeout. Yeah, I'm with you, Rico. Put him in a situation where as long as I kick this field goal, he's going to need some sort of onside kick, something miraculous to happen. But we have seen a block kick. JS has gotten a block kick of his own. We don't know. Jacoby and if might that's how I lose, lose, that's how I You're lose. Right. I'm better. I'd rather lose that way than throwing a pick. And he, here. it's fair enough. This is a closer field goal. He's throwing the ball. He's oh! throwing the ball. Intentional oh! grounding. Back him up 10. And I was just going to say he had a close field goal. 
Okay, I'm not trying to be funny here, and at no point do we ever condone gambling. But if you were watching this as a regular football game, you would say Vegas, the fix is in. Because <laughs> you're like, what is going on? They are trying to lose this game more than he's trying to win this. Oh, no. Dropping back to pass again. Underneath. That's big. That is a big huge. Throw. It's not a gimme. 47-yard field goal to extend it to a nine-point game. You got to watch out. This is going to be a big kick. Does Jacoby have a block in him? It's not perfect. It is not perfect, so the block is in play. <laughs> We're all just, just staring. Boom, 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 boom. Jay is the best that he was a great basketball player in his bio. I need him to be a great football clock manager. Ball is down, no block. The kick is up. It is good. It's big for JS. If you're Shakobi, you still have left. You have one timeout. You have the two-minute warning. An onside kick at your disposal. If JS the best does not double team Tyreek Hill, every single play he deserves to lose. Imagine like being a player in the secondary or Rico's D coordinator and you, you just don't, you'd be firing people left and right. You know people say he'd be you pulling people no off the field and be like, guess what, you're cut. <laughs> Rico as a head coach would be phenomenal, huh? I'd love to put me in the game. No, I'm talking about you as a real football head coach would be field. hilarious to watch. Got him. Out of bounds. Someone's yeah. going to be you. It can't be Tyreek. And here's the next question. JS, send some heat. Make him make some quick decisions. Make him dink and dunk. Do not allow him. With one time out, do you ponder taking a field goal? No. I mean, he, not when you're moving the ball this easily, and JS is playing. I mean, that was close. The thing is, he's sending him, Rico. I mean, that last play, he sent five or six. I'm Gave sending. up a big game. Here you go. Here's the field goal. Before the two-minute yeah, warning, he's, he's going for the 53-yarder. Oh, this is smart. Strategy. No, it's not. If he's long as he can hit this. You're giving him the ball Ooh. back. Because even if you don't get the onside kick, Rico, he has enough time. He might have needed some more yards. It's going to be close. I think he has it. The power is the concern. The power I think the, the accuracy is yards. good. But that power. He missed it way short. This power is definitely <laughs> concerning. Ball's down. Kicks up. Does it have the leg? It does. Good. Six point game. Rico, because now if he doesn't get this onside kick with the two minute warning and the timeout, he has a chance to force that three and out. Where maybe JS will have to take a long field goal attempt. He's just going to kick it off. I yep. definitely got to Technically, two timeouts. You've got the two minute warning and the one you're one. Does JS the best throw know the enough to not throw the ball here? This is where, you may, when you're a top player, you might overthink yourself. But I, I would expect it's three runs from JS. I would hope. But definitely starting off the, running the ball. There, there could be a world where I try to pass on third down to put the game away. I don't want to leave him a minute 20, a minute 30 where I got to punt it to him. If I have the chance to, to put that game away, I may try to. But, yeah, one thing's for sure you got. Ooh, I don't know if it's spinning. And that's what I'm talking about with that spin move and turnaround. He could have kept running and got more yardage. He wound up spinning into that tackle and cost himself. If there's, if there's one advantage defensively for Shikobi, it's the fact that JS has bounced a lot of runs outside. You can't do that when there's the fear of going out of bounds and stopping the clock. He's got to stay inside. So it's going to be... He might just try to pass just throw this it. game away, yep. He's going to throw it. He's running back. He's got nothing. He can try to bounce. It's no okay. Clock. Incomplete pass. 2.06 to go. Oh the two-minute warning on the line. line. It's still there. This is it. This is ball game. JS can get this first down and put Shakobi away. Now, Shakobi can stand up for himself. Look at JS. It's the clutchy taking form right before our eyes. Coming out, trips. Oh, this is what it's all about. Is yeah. this where Tyreek Hill gets one-on-one -on -one coverage? Look at how many are in the box. Yeah, they're close to that box, Rico. He might, he might, he's, he's begging him to try that bomb. This looks like Madden 05. He's hiking him on right backwards. Going backwards. He's got triangle. He's open. What a game. What a ball game. 
Oh, the clutch read right there from JS the best when he absolutely needed I it. I hate to disagree with you, RG, as the all-knowing guy, but it's not clutch when you put yourself in that position. He, JS the best, put himself to have to make that play when he shouldn't have never been in this position. I, I don't disagree with you. I'm just talking about on that one specific play with the game on the line. He had been making a lot of mistakes. He dials up the hot one that he needs, and he's going to advance to the semifinals. Hold on, do our math. It's over. It's over. It's over. Zan in the chat saying, but it is clutch. He made the play when he needed it. I agree. I agree with Zano on that one. Absolutely needed that dot. What a game. And hey, props to Shakobi, huh? A lot of people would have been down and out. They wouldn't have showed the resiliency that he showed. And he fought hard to get back in this ball game. Incredibly. I think even though he didn't get the win, this should go towards redeeming his name. It showed that he did not lay down. He kept on going. Oh, Shafold is dead. And if you ask, if you look back at it, it's that block kick. Block kick was well, block the, kick. The, the, the Mahomes overthrowing by 10 yards. Block kick was one of those two plays. One of those two plays changes everything. GG's up in the chat. Shakobi just... GG's in the chat for real. Spam those GG's in the chat, boys. That was a good one. And so we have our final four set. Clef and Kratobin, Turnaround, and JS the best. Mm. Two good games. Three more games here. Jacoby just not ready to take the headset off. So close to the money. We got three games left in this DreamHack tournament. GG's up. Zero's on the clock. What a